blood work that is typically done in a polio survivor, um, even if there's really no other medical history of, of you know, arthritis or anything, you know, usually we will do arthritis tests, um, looking for low-grade inflammation that could be contributing to some of the muscle weakness or pain. We'd get a sedimentation rate, we would get an ANA, we might get a rheumatoid factor to begin with. Um, I would usually get a CPK test, which is a muscle enzyme that if there's active muscle damage going on, that will be elevated. In a polio survivor, it might be mildly elevated, but it wouldn't be severely elevated. If it's very, very abnormal, then you think there's something else going on that's directly attacking the muscle. In post-polio, it's the nerve endings that are being attacked by whatever the cause is, and the muscle is an innocent bystander. So we can usually sort out our options fairly quickly with just a very few tests.